Anish Khanna. It's been a long time I've made a video. I've been busy and uh, with some other matters in my personal life, so I haven't been able to get down to making a video. And I've had quite a few requests from many of my viewers, so finally I decided to get down to it. Right, so this episode, I'd like to start by telling you a story. A story, a Zen story, which has a lot of depth, meaning to it. Once upon a time, there was a young boy, a teenage boy, who was very athletic, very good in running. He was the fastest 100 meter sprinter in the district. And he, he thought he was very good. One day he met an old man who he was told was a retired martial arts grandmaster. So he decided to impress him with his running skills. He invited the master to watch one of his races. So the master turned up to watch his race. And there was a huge crowd gathered around and this boy with three other runners who were his challengers stood at the starting point. And at the Onima get said go come on, they ran. This boy overtook them and he won. Everybody was clapping and cheering. He was very happy, waving his hands. He came back and said, anybody else challenging me for a race? He said. So three more boys came and again, they all got in line for the race. And the race began. This boy again won and the crowd was clapping. This boy was overwhelmed with pride and happiness. He had won and he was cheerful. He came to the master see, I'm the fastest, I'm the bestest. Master said, okay, I'm going to get two more people to challenge you for the race and let's see how you go. The boy said, okay. The master called an old woman and an elderly man who had a slight limp on his left leg and he made them stand at the starting point and told the boy to race them. The boy said, you're joking, you know, this is too easy. Master said, let's see you race them. So the boy got in line at the starting point and the race began. Onima gets said go. Boy ran. He crossed the finish line and he looked back. The elderly lady and the elderly man were walking slowly. They had just crossed about the 10 meter mark. This boy was overjoyed and he looked around but nobody was clapping. He was surprised. How come nobody was clapping? He had won the race. He went to the master again. He told him, look, I won the race again. Nobody is clapping. What's wrong with these people? Master said, do the race again. Race them. But this time, I want you to finish, all three of you to finish together. The boy thought over it. He excused himself, moved aside, had a, a few sips of water, thought about it, came back. When he thought about it, he realized what the master was trying to tell him. He stood at the starting point between the lily man and the woman and he held their hands. With his left hand, he held the lady's hand. With his right hand, he held the man's hand. And at the starting command, Onima gets said go. He started walking at their speed. And at their speed, he carried them, walking along with them, to the finishing point. And now the crowd roared with cheers and they cheered him for this. He came back running to the master and said, who won? The master said, look at them, all people are clapping for you. This is the biggest win in your life. The boy understood at that point. This master had taught him wisdom. That is why he was known as the Grand Master. He bowed to him and then asked him to accept him as a student. He had realized at that point the difference between an instructor, a master and a grandmaster. The instructor teaches techniques. The master teaches more advanced techniques, explains how the techniques work and the grandmaster teaches wisdom. So this boy realized this at this point. And he bowed to the Grandmaster and the Grandmaster accepted him as a student. In life, said the Grandmaster, 
life positions you sometimes in different places where you have to take the whole team along. If you're the team leader, a uh, captain of a military group, and you've got to take your company into for a certain mission, accomplish the mission and come back. You have to take the whole team along and come back and bring the whole team back safe. That is your duty. If you're in charge of a group of 100 people, it's your duty to take the full 100 people to the finishing line successfully. If people, if a thousand people appoint you as their leader, you have to take all the thousand people to win at the finishing line. That is when you become a great leader, he said. Remember that all your life. The student understood. He bowed to the master and he became a student. Techniques practice is fundamentally important to all martial arts. Depending on a style, there are different ways of doing it. Here we have an upper block and punch partner drills practice. These are done hundreds of times till they become second nature to the practitioner. Training of muscle memory, timing and speed are a function of these type of drills. One. Next, we have a technique with three blocks and a punch practice. Two. The upper block, the outer forearm block, the low block and the middle punch. Now the application drill with the partner are practiced. Down. Practice is done at slow speed, medium speed and One. fast speeds. Up. Down. Stop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.